it doesn't look likely because the, the main factor there is the international players, if they come here, they will have difficulty going back to their respective destination because of how Guyana has been categorized. So that is one of the most challenging issues that we haven't resolved yet. We're looking at all options um, because it's, um, travel is not easy either. There's, it's, to use commercial flights to get around this part is becoming increasingly challenging. So we're, we're still working towards confirming where that home game will be. But it doesn't appear, as if, even though we have made submission to CONCACAF to play home, we had to do that because that's what we had in hand. But from all appearances, it appears as if we are going to be playing that game outside of Guyana. Apart from that contest, the Golden Jaguars are down to face St. Kitts and Nevis four days earlier on June 4, and that is designated a home game for St. Kitts and Nevis. In the earlier games in March, Guyana was due to host the Bahamas and play away to Trinidad and Tobago, but both games were shifted to the Dominican Republic owing to the COVID-19 protocols in Trinidad at the time. While the Jaguars opened with a 3-0 defeat at the hands of Trinidad and Tobago, they rebounded to inflict a 4-0 drubbing on the Bahamas. The victory pushed Guyana to third on the table on three points, Trinidad and Tobago sit second on four points, while St. Kitts and Nevis lead the table with the maximum six points from two matches. Puerto Rico one point and the Bahamas zero complete the table. Only one team would advance from this group to the next round.